Common kitchen. Wow. This is. I'm trying intro. to be a ventriloquist now. Okay. Mm. Oh. Welcome to Common Kitchen. <laughs> okay. We're gonna start with that. We're keeping it in. We're keeping it in the editing. It's too late now. Maybe Thomas will practice, and over time you can see the progress. This is the first day of many. The uh, Common Kitchen 45. You're not. Even, I'm not even gonna be in the screen. It's just a floating hat, and you'll hear my voice. It'll be amazing. Today we're making a pretty simple, spicy arrabbiata penne from yeah. Valerie Bertinelli's cookbook. Um, it's gonna be yummy, it's gonna be quick and easy. Get excited. That's actually the Valerie that uh, Amy Winehouse was talking about in her song. Cool, so we're making the sauce now, so we're putting uh, about a fourth of a cup of oil into the pan. It's quite a fourth. I mean, I think it's enough, like it's just covering the pan. You wanna coat the bottom? The pan. For the garlic that's about to go in. And we must heat it until it shimmers. I don't that's the question. Is that is this not shimmering? Ah! No, it's uh, not high. In the meantime, Mason has also already cooked the penne pasta for us yes. and chopped this garlic yes. like the superstar he is. So pretty much we do nothing and Mason just makes this wonderful food. Oh. And then we get to take the credit. <laughs> also, shout out to one of our sponsors. Our parents who got us this pretty sweet tripod that were able to film some of the intros and outros and Mason is just holding the tripod while filming you right may, now. You may know our parents from the previous video we did in Cinnamon Rolls where you heard one distant laugh and that's it. That is distinctly more shimmery than before. I stand corrected. Go for it. Alright, we're just gonna let the Garlic cook a little bit. Put the garlic for like two minutes. Oh, oh. Stir it up. Yeah, just keep yeah, stirring it. Yeah, it says until fragrant. One to two minutes. Um, and then this recipe calls for some chopped tomatoes, like in a can. Now we're adding the canned of tomatoes. It calls for packaged tomatoes, like palmy, but this is what we got, so. Fun fact. We're putting in. Oh, sorry. These slide. diced tomatoes aren't called diced tomatoes because they're uh, shaped like as if they've been cut and diced. It's because famed early 2000s comedian Andrew Dice Clay personally packaged them. Hence, diced. Okay, we're adding crushed red pepper, which is actually the Domino's crushed red pepper, which apparently they sell in a seasoning. Yes, Domino's, I know I don't have to tell you, but you already know, please, please sponsor us. So we did our own makeshift Italian seasoning, so it's going to be thyme, dried basil, rosemary, and then to mix it up, because we already used regular crushed red pepper, a little Korean crushed red pepper, not very different, just more crushed. I thought you were going to say more Korean. <laughs> I was like, ah, yes, of course. Oh, it's not buttoned all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Nip slip. <laughs> so that was a dash of thyme. And then I'm gonna do two dash rosemary. Not even two dash, like, uh, like a one dash rosemary. Dash, the commonly used measurement form based off of Going the first back. Incredibles movie. Uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle this over, but basically like a lot of basil. So you can basically see more basil than anything else. <laughs> it's basil. like three parts to one. I don't have a pun for basil. Crushed red pepper, which just do this however much spice you want on your food. So thank you, you, Korea. I feel like every time I think of basil, I just think of like the mixed up files. Of his basil, he frank well. Oh, it was right there, and yep. I wasted it. Yep. God. And then you do some black pepper because that's actually not part of the Italian seasoning. It's just they want black pepper. like a salad on my ear. Just say when. When? <laughs> Thank you, sir. And then you let that cook for like fiber. Quick fiber. Just saving some of that pasta water for the sauce. And then draining the rest of the water out of the pasta. Go, Jordan. Mm. 
Okay, now we took this off the heat and we're adding some fresh chopped basil. Our basil plant was looking pretty sad yesterday and revived it overnight with some water. <laughs> adding the reserve pasta water to the sauce. I feel like it makes it kind of watery, but we'll see when we mix it up. Okay, I'm now adding the pasta. What's the scoop? It's pasta. Mm. Allora. Ciao. It's brought to you today by Bushes. Baked. Beans. <laughs> <laughs>